Hello everyone. This is Smriti here and you're listening to As a Story World. Today I'm going to narrate a Panchatantra tale titled The Clever Plan. In this story there's a crow couple and a huge snake who eats these couple's eggs. What will they do? What will happen next? Let us find out in this story. All you need to do is sit back and enjoy listening. Once upon a time there lived a crow couple on a huge banyan tree. One day a big snake came to live in the hole at the bottom of the tree. The crow was so unhappy about this but could do nothing. Soon the female crow laid some eggs and some eggs were going to hatch. So the crows flew out in search of food. But at that time the snake ate up all the eggs when the crows returned they could not find their babies they hunt high and low but to no avail after few months the female crow again laid some eggs and this time the female crow stayed home while the male crow went out in search of food ignoring the fact that the female crow was keeping a watchful eye on her eggs the snake still slithered up the tree and attacked the eggs the female crow tried to fight the snake off but she was not strong enough other crows came to her aid but the snake had already eaten the little ones and crawled back into its hole and the male crow had returned he found all the crows weeping He consoled his wife who wanted to leave the tree house immediately. The male crow said that this tree had been their home for many years and they must live here. He thought of asking a wise old fox for help in order to get rid of the snake. When he approached the fox, he narrated the whole incident and this wise old fox came up with a brilliant plan. He told them to go to the river bank the next morning where the ladies of the royal family would be bathing their clothes and valuables would be kept on the river bank while the servants would be watching over them from a distance the fox asked the crows to pick up a necklace and by a way making a loud noise this would make the servants follow the crows the to the tree where the crows would drop the necklace into the snake's hole so the next morning when the crows flew to the river bank the female crow picked up a golden necklace and flew off as the male crow cawed loudly to attract the servants attention the servants ran after the female crow and reached the banyan tree where they saw her drop the necklace into the snake hole as the servants were trying to take the necklace out With the help of a long stick, the snake came out of the hole and hissed at them. The servants beat the snake to death. And so, the female crow and male crow lived happily ever after with their babies in the banyan tree. I hope you all enjoyed today's story. Do like, share and subscribe. See you next time. Bye friends. Hello everyone. This is Smriti here. And you're listening to... as a story